Hello everyone, welcome back to my Chrome Hounds Let's Play, uh, some siphon, and we're going to go ahead and just uh, hop into the soldier campaign. Edgardo, yeah. I don't really care about getting S rank, honestly. I just want to. I'm just showing them off the missions for so you guys can hear the the guy talking. At the bottom right of your screen, when facing multiple opponents, make sure you're always aware of where they are all located at all times. Dispatch all of the targets as quickly as possible. Curious. This is supposed to be, I think that was supposed to be one of those wheeled, uh, like, striker-like APCs. and everything. That's cool. I never really put that much notice into all the my, the tiny details, but that's pretty neat though that all the tiny things have fully functional wheels and everything. These are strikers. <laughs> that's pretty neat. Yay, here we go. Climbing a 
hill so I can get a good view. Ah, there you are. You know, the shotguns in this game are a weapon that I've never found particularly, particularly good use for, honestly. <clears throat> and I'll go over the weapons when I build our first hound for the mission, or for the first mission. Excuse me. I'll leave the tanks for now. I want to focus on these guys. Hey, look! It's an Abrams! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Pretty well detailed, too. So. They take two rounds to kill, unlike the, uh, the Leopard 1 tanks, which only needed one. Because, you know, they have virtually no armor. I actually really like the fact that this game is surprisingly good detail. Artillery cannons. Yeah, you'll you'll generally find that the enemies come in mostly. Oh, I, apparently I got the S rank on this as well. <laughs> but uh, most of the enemies come in. So you got normal tanks and the APCs, which are pretty much uh, they're mostly completely uh, harmless uh, unless you're really low on health. The, uh, ACVs, which, hold on. Oh, it doesn't give me files on... Okay, well, the ACVs are, which are the, the, the mech, the actual, like, mechs that are not as good as the Hound. Now, those come in four varieties. You have hover t hover tank legs, or hover types. You have the the reverse joint bipedal type, which uh, typically the ones you fight will always be equipped with a pair of machine guns and a single rocket launcher. Same thing for the, uh, the scouts. They'll have a couple of machine guns and a rocket launcher, but much less health. There'll be a quadruped sniper type, which has... They're slow on the move and have low health, but they have sniper rifles, which means they can hit you from far away and deal damage. And then there are the four-legged heavy types, which actually come with two different armaments. You'll have ones with a short-range armament, so a couple of shotguns and a high-explosive rocket launcher. And then there will be a long-range variant, which you saw in the tutorial mission, that has a pair of artillery cannons. Those will try to hit you with the artillery cannons. Alright, let's do level 2, which is the actual beginning of the Democratic campaign. Republic of Tarakia. Located in western Neroimus, it is the largest nation in the region, and has developed rapidly with the backing of a superpower, America. This backing consequently worsened the nation's own internal conflicts which existed due to its multi-ethnic population, ultimately resulting in increased anti-government activity by radical ethnic minority groups. Fearful, the government declared it would eradicate these insurgents and decided to deploy anti-terrorist units all across the nation. Second Lieutenant Sylvie Bernard's squad of the Eastern Garrison 
has been tasked with subjugating an enemy base in the mountain region. Jolly! So the hound that you are given is the same hound we get in the tutorial. But I don't really like this hound. I'm going to make a different one. And this will be a quick run through of... <laughs> I forgot this is the hound I did to finish the final S rank mission I needed to get. Um, so we're going to remove all the parts. Let's see. For a soldier type... We're going to go ahead and go with these legs. Hmm. Go ahead and set all the... So, obviously the legs determine a lot of what your mech will do. So I'll just, uh... Okay, go back to the legs. Remove the parts. Okay, so mobility base. These are the different types of legs. These are all the legs you get in the base campaign. The multiplayer had a lot more, and the multiplayer had some amazing legs that are not available for the campaign. Just, it makes me sad. So, to start with, we have uh, bi uh, bipedal legs, which we only get two types of bipedal legs. We've got a uh, normal biped, which I guess are plantigrade, and we have uh, kind of reverse joint sort of arrangement here. These legs are kind of more scout oriented. These are the soldier ones. Uh, these are reverse joint legs, which actually are more suited to sniping to the sniper role. But we're going to go ahead and go with the reverse joint. We've also got quad legs, which have the highest weight capacity and are the slowest. You have tank legs, which I believe... Uh... I believe the tank legs have... Uh... Well, the tank legs have the second highest weight capacity. The most defense, I think? I think that's what they have. Generally, they have the most defense, I think. Uh, generally, for both, for any of the heavy hitting types, such as Defender and... Uh, Defender, Heavy Gunner, and any kind of super heavy setup. Quad legs or tank legs work, either one. I do know tank legs turn faster. So they they're, they're, they turn faster than the quad legs. Then you have the hover legs, which are obviously best suited for scouting. And same thing for the wheel legs, which are also best suited for scouting. Although you can also make decent soldier type builds out of them. Same thing with the... You know the hover legs, but the hover legs have the highest speed but the slowest acceleration, and they can fly. They can go over water. Anyway, we're gonna go with these legs. We're gonna go with a fairly simple here. These are just the kind of like they fulfill the same role as like the FCS or the optional parts in armored previous armored core games. Not particularly. Uh, it doesn't particularly matter which ones you use, honestly. As far as weaponry goes, so we've got small weapon, light weapons, and heavy weapons. Now, in the campaign, you only get these three, and that's it. So you've got a huge rocket, which they're rockets. You've got missiles, which kind of don't... They're not worth it. They just don't really... I don't know... They're virtually direct fire, because they, they only lock on at a short range. And you get very little ammunition for them, so they're not really worth it, in my opinion. This gun is great, but it's only useful for really heavy firepower type stuff. For our mech, we're going to go with a mixture of rifles, 
and uh, sniper rifles, actually. <coughs> so we're gonna go with that. These are the best rifles in the game, in my opinion. They have the best damage. Like, their damage is on par with the Tarakian sniper rifle, so... And they're just a regular rifle. And we're also going to go with... Sniper rifles. There we go. And then we'll go with a uh, single rocket launcher. Actually, no. We're gonna go with a artillery cannon howitzer as a heavy hitter. There we go. Weapon settings. So this is technically more of a, like, kind of a combination build. There we go. I know the general strategy for mech building. We're going to change the town name. We're going to put count... Name this guy... Soul 1, so Soldier 1. Go ahead and save him. I used to, once upon a time, I had a... Uh, um, I had completed this game before, and I had just a repertoire of different builds and stuff that were fun to mess with. But I lost that save file a long time ago. So and the reason I'm doing this Let's Play now is because I recently did a another 100% playthrough, and, you know, I wanted to go ahead and do it. Go ahead and sortie. I'm going to go ahead and try and basically just have each of these main episodes really long, just so I can get through the game fairly quickly. Squad leader to all units. Let's get this show on the road. Our objective is to annihilate all enemy units and destroy their base camp. Show them no mercy. Understood? Understood. Mercenary, can you hear me? This is your squad leader, Second Lieutenant Sylvie Bernard. I'm sending our scouts to secure the Combust Towers. You are to lead the attack and wipe out any resistance you encounter. In my own country, I'm going to C2. That's I don't care who you are or where you come from. Yeah, you, you see those multi barrel machine guns? We don't get access to those, which makes me really sad. Oh, hey, look, random soldiers. I expect good things from you. You are to advance. I want to look at the tanks real fast to see what kind of tanks they have before I just destroy them. Keep your guard up, mercenary. This is Kristen. I'm heading for the compass. These are Eric, you're heading for point H4. Uh I wanna say these are Merkava tanks. This is Kristen. So, yeah, these are Merkava tanks, I think. Roger that. Maintain position and stand guard. Eric here. I'm at the Comus at point H4. No sign of any enemies in the area. There we go. Enemy mechs destroyed. So that makes Leopard 1s, M1 Abrams, and uh, Merkava tanks. You should be able to handle them. This is Eric. I'm heading to point D4.
Sniper rifles are actually really handy guns, honestly. Just in general, just for general use. Howitzer fire. <laughs> Honestly, it might be better to. I've reached the compass at point D4. this building this place because we're supposed to destroy all the buildings uh funnily enough in the multiplayer if your hound actually dies or gets knocked knocked out uh you don't actually just end the mission because it's a multiplayer 6v6 type sort of thing you get out and you become one of these guys just a soldier on the field with a little rifle and everything it's great but again i never got to experience any of that so it's a lot like what happens if you die in Armored Core Verdict Day. Oh, that was way overshot. <laughs> oh, excuse me, damn. That's pretty much all of it. There you go. All right, mercenary. Mission complete. Mission complete. Saying that they are fighting for ethnic minorities to justify their own brand of terrorism. Our goal is to annihilate this organization. We've got enough to deal with on our borders. We don't need trouble at home like this. I expect we'll be stuck working together for a while. I'm looking forward to working with you. Hooray, terrorism! <sighs> Enemy operations, enemy annihilated. Cha-ching. I somehow got the S rank. Yeah. Next one. I believe... Lieutenant Sylvie Bernard's we'll see armored cavalry it. has successfully destroyed the insurgents' base camp and occupied the facilities. The squad is now tasked with mopping up any remaining resistance. In addition, the squad has received orders that intelligence is needed regarding an enemy HQ rumored to be hidden somewhere near the border. Fun. That's right, yeah, this is the one that has we're chasing after the small fry. I'm actually going to go ahead and make a new mech. Change parts. Where is that guy? We're going to add. Actually, should be enough. Uh, I don't know. Actually, we're gonna go with rockets. So. There we go. 
weapon settings. So this is a very simple setup here, just, you know, rockets and rifles. Go ahead and change the name to Soul 2. Damn it. There we go. If I can work my controller properly. There we go. And sortie. We're going to gotta track down a little target before he can get away. I do so love the cutscenes. Alright, there's our opening. I am setting the designation for enemy vehicles as mouse until we have achieved our objectives. Commencing pursuit. Locate and disable the enemy. All opposition with extreme prejudice. I will provide radio backup throughout your mission. Do not let Mouse escape. A little limit to how much you can aim up, typically. Come on. Go, 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 go. Look, it's a tunnel. Uh -huh. Go, go, go. Mouse has arrived at point F4. Get to move on, mercenary. Oh, I am I may have fucked up. I'm going to restart. I fucked up. <laughs> okay. My bad. I fucked up. Oh, well, it happens. Restart the mission. <laughs> Try again. Locate and disable the enemy. Eliminate all opposition with extreme prejudice. I will provide radio backup throughout your mission. Do not let Mouse escape. There you are. Okay. Mouse has arrived at point F4. Get the move on, mercenary. Found him. There you go. <laughs> Super simple mission, like chase down a thing that's running away. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, they're surprisingly fast, you know, considering. Organized, too well funded to be a gorilla outfit, don't you think so? We've received intelligence. Oh yeah, I guess that's technically also another ACV. That one right there on the screen is a commander ACV. It has no weapons on it though. Basically, just a mobile command post. Yeah, halt enemy before F4. That's fine. I already got the S rank. I don't really care. But yeah, you were supposed to halt the enemy before F4 to get the S rank. Next mission. The Balearic region in eastern Tarakia is a hilly borderland. Sylvie's squad has obtained intel on the enemy HQ from their prisoners. 
and begin preparations for an assault on the enemy. Attack the Rebel Headquarters. We're going to go ahead and... Well, actually, since we're attacking a headquarters, I'm going to change the Hound again! and uh, cannons approach. Uh, do I want actually... Nah, not those cannons. are way more somehow for some reason. Hmm. Anyway. Oh, okay. I can actually mount a rocket launcher as well. Rifles, cannons, and then uh, a rocket launcher. That'll work. Now, it should be noted, I am in no way, shape, or form uh, good at determining what is and is not a good mech design for this game, because I, again, I never played the multiplayer. I only know what works for the campaign. Change the hound name to Soul 3... Nope, oh, wrong, wrong storage unit. There we go. And uh, let's begin. Yeah, you definitely want the cannons, though, for dealing with uh, heavy, heavily armored stuff. Mercenary, can you hear me? According to the prisoner's info, the enemy's headquarters should be at point G7. Destroy it. There are multiple routes along the mountain to reach the target location, but I'll let you decide which route to take. Mm. Watch out for ambushes. Hooray! Watch out for ambushes. With this terrain, That's right. Enemy snipers. Okay. Try to secure as many combat towers as you can along the way, so I can detect enemy units. I'll send you the info as soon as I spot them. For G. Oh, hey, look. It's one of those sniper mechs I was telling you about. Yeah, see? So I just want to get a. Ow. A good look at it, so it's got a pair of the smaller sniper rifles and then a sniper cannon. Now it's dead. Right, capture G. Turn.
that was a scout, by the way. Um, you can tell how fast he was moving. Alright, I'm gonna go this way. Almost at the target. Proceed with the attack as soon as you have visual confirmation. Jesus, hi. Okay. Forces eliminated. Just have a bunch of fucking tanks to deal with. All right, enemy force annihilated. And I only sustained a little bit of damage. Yeah, enemy, uh, how, the, the, well, the sniper ACVs get annoying in later missions when they're actually at range and it can hit you without you being able to hit them back, which is why even on missions where I'm supposed to be, like, a soldier or a defender type build, I'll put sniper rifles on them, on them be, just because it gives me the ability to, oop, fell down a little cliff there, it gives me the ability to shoot and knock out sniper ACVs without, you know, being completely at their mercy. Thanks. God, there's fucking tanks everywhere. Holy shit. Yeah, these are the Merkavas, which means they require three rifle shots to kill. Destroyed. You did well. Now the enemy's identity should become clear. Though it might have been better if we hadn't gotten involved in the first place. Even if we assume Salkar is manipulating them, it's just as likely they're fighting because they're scared of us. The fact that America is backing us has probably got them on edge. But can we blame them? We're using America's backing to help protect ourselves, too. But as they say, it is not our job to question why. Forget I said anything. Yay! Mission done. 
I've still got an S rank. <laughs> Even though it took me longer than five minutes. But yeah, there you go. There we go. Only three more left. Though they routed the defense force and occupied the enemy's HQ, there was evidence that the enemy had evacuated well in advance. And soon after, they receive a report that their own base was being attacked while their attention was focused elsewhere. Realizing the intel had been a trap, they immediately changed course. However, an enemy detachment lies in wait along their path, intent on destroying the squad. Fun! Uh, I think I'm gonna keep this hound as it is for now. Uh, breakthrough. Actually, actually. Change this out for a smaller generator. <laughs> now that's a generator. Oh, look at that. It's so tiny. Alright, so this is basically going to be a sniper build, except with rifles for dealing with stuff up close. Soul four. There we go, sortie. Having some sniper cannons for long range fire. This is Sylvie. All units do copy. A large enemy force has been detected up ahead. Of course, this had to happen when we need to return as quickly as possible. Damn Murphy's Law. Damn Murphy's Law. <laughs> How dare Murphy get in our way? You lead the attack, and the snipers and I will provide cover. We need to take them down in a single charge. Let's do this. Enemy squad detected at point D8 and F7. Takes them out first. All units cover the mercenary and don't miss. Roger that. Opening fire. I'm not right I'm not worried about fucking tanks. There we go.
point G5. We won't last long against that kind of firepower. Approach from the rear and take out the long range cannon first. From point G7. Got it? G7. Confirmed. That just leaves point I-3. All units, move out. Roger that. Can't actually see them because of the fucking trees. Destruction of all enemy units confirmed. Proceed with the mission. Roger that. Really? Tanks? Okay, enemy tanks annihilated. Yay! Mission done. Looks like we managed to make our way through. Good work. Oh yeah. Mercenary, there's something you should know. That the prisoner that gave us the bad intel truly believed that he was giving us the real location of their headquarters. That means they are lying to their own people and likely planned on leaving them behind from the beginning. Their plans run deeper than we thought. I do love the, the designs of this game. I, like, the ACVs are pretty cool, too. Is it. <clears throat> I wish there was a mode in this game that allowed you to pilot the ACVs, like hounds. Like, in, like you start off the game piloting ACVs. And then you can upgrade to Hounds later, but that would have required a bit more of a single-player focus, I feel. And they decided they wanted multiplayer only, so... What we got is what we got. Level 5. We destroyed the enemy units. Sylvie's squad just barely manages to return to HQ. HQ's defense force successfully intercepted one assault. But the enemy plans to use this position as a foothold to wage all-out war and has already launched another large-scale offensive operation. Of course, you know, where are they getting these ACVs is the question, you know. The tanks I can kind of understand. Uh, yes, this is the Borrowed Hound. They gave us uh, bomblet launchers for dealing with the enemy base. So we are going to...
We're gonna load up uh, Soul 3 here. We're gonna actually. We're gonna add. We'll remove one of each of the cannons and the rifles, and we're gonna add some more rockets. Shall sortie. Hmm. Step crack the buck. To all units, the defense forces holding their ground. They are outnumbered. All units head to point B1 and defend our base camp. If it's destroyed, we are done for. Mercenary, we've received a report. So firstly, we're going to go help out the base camp and then march our way up to the enemy base, killing everything in front of us. The defense force is doing well, but at this rate, they'll eventually be overwhelmed. We'll provide backup, but try to take down as many enemy units that head our way as you can too. But don't take too long. It won't matter if we get there too late. It's up to you, mercenary. Scouts. <clears throat> Just takes a couple of rifle shots to kill them from uh, these rifles, but they're fast. It's a bunch of enemies over there. guys will totally wreck your base if you don't knock them out. Bring your guns to bear again. Oh, hi. There's a lot more of you here than I thought there would be.
Okay. Okay, that squad is knocked out. There's a couple of snipers. Kill you real fast. Knock those guys out. All right. Oh, yeah, you're here, aren't you? I don't really care about getting the S rank on the mission, but... Okay, sure. Surely knock the enemy base down. Missiles. I'm out of rockets. Come on. 
I'm almost out of ammo too at this point. I I did it. <laughs> I didn't run out of ammunition. <laughs> I almost ran out of ammunition. Holy shit. We let a large scale attack like this get by without detection. The brass are probably fit now. I can't say this too loudly, but I think America might be behind some of this. America is providing backing because they have their eye on Salkar's resources. Getting our people to cry out for more is exactly what they want. We might just be in their political games. <laughs> Might be? You are. Fucking talking about pawns and political games. The fucking actual IRL situation right now is fucked. So. Final mission, and we'll call this episode good. We won the fierce battle at HQ. Sylvie's squad now has the task of wiping out the enemy survivors. The squad is dispersed throughout the surrounding area, during which time they encounter the enemy leader trying to flee. Okay. I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to use the same hound, because this upcoming fight mission thing isn't very difficult, so. That went better than expected. After that beating, Trakia has to take action. We're still far from the recovery area. Don't let your guard down. Don't concern yourself with the winds and the noises. We just pay to get the job done. Don't worry, there's no sign of anyone following us. As you know, I heard the enemy has got a new ace pilot. Would have liked to see him. There are no guarantees of battle. You should know that by now. We still agree. I won't make any assumptions till I fight him on the battlefield. Cautious as ever, aren't you, Franco? I see why people say you're like the second coming of the Cerberus squad. But like you said, we're not like the people of this country. We're not fighting to protect anything. It's a paycheck, nothing personal. We just need to survive the fight long enough to get paid and move on. Hostile ahead. A lone enemy. What should we do? If it attacks us, I'm not going to hold back. I may be a mercenary, but I'm not entirely in love with the idea of dying. Roger that. All units, prepare to intercept. <laughs> I just received intel that an enemy squad is headed your way. Engage them. There aren't many of them, but they somehow managed to slip through our security outposts. They look powerful. Watch yourself. Scenario. So that was uh I'm not I don't know if that's like the cousin or the brother of our instructor. The Ed Edgardo person. Dude, like these tanks are gonna stop me. <laughs> the enemy tanks annihilated. Now to take care of the enemy AC, uh, enemy hounds. <laughs> I 
Dead. Okay. <laughs> Just straight into the cockpit. Dead. That's why I switch over to uh, the heat rounds instead of the APFSDS rounds, because the APD the APFSDS rounds are a lot. Most parts in this game have much higher physical or kinetic defense. Woo! That was a miss. Oh, there you go. Mission done. Yeah, like I said, this is not not a hard mission. These two enemy hounds are not difficult. It's the end of this disturbance. It appears that most of the pilots of the units we destroyed were from Selkar. Once word gets out, the anti-Selkar movements will be unstoppable. We are on a one-way road to war. And there are so many Selkaris living in this country, too. It's probably too late to find out who is pulling the strings behind the scenes. But I have no intention of giving up. My home, my family, they're all here. I must protect this country. It's everything that I know and love. I will do what I can. All I can give is my service and my life. It's likely you will be dragged into this war, one way or another. <sighs> Mercenary, would you... No. That is something you will have to decide on your own. I am grateful for the work you've done for us. I hope we meet again. As allies. I like this game. This is just the first campaign, as it were. First main story. S rank. Alright, we are going to call that episode good there. So yeah, that was our first hound fight, as it were, against enemy hounds. Pretty fucking easy. Uh, the In multiplayer, it's very much a case of whoever is able to strike the killing blow first, because... Your hounds, while they're able to defend a lot against ACV and tank gunfire, against actual cannon fire from enemy hounds, they do a lot of damage. So, and as you can see, two cannons right straight, straight to the cockpit basically killed that one in one shot. So, anyway, thank you everyone for watching with my hour-long bumper edition of a video. Uh, I'll see you all next time.